I'm so sure of love. Happy Talk to Me Tuesday, ladies. I am in the kitchen listening to me some Sade. So I'm going to groove for a second while you guys come on in. If I don't see your name pop up, say hello because I don't always see all the names pop up. So say hello so I can say hello back. And if this is your first Talk To Me Tuesday, welcome. I wanna say hello and welcome to you. So glad that you are here. Welcome to the GFB squad. So tonight, we are going to be whipping up a quick recipe in the kitchen. Who is this? Hey, Rachel. Glad to see you here. So, uh, can you guys hear this music? Hey, T. I'm like jamming to some Sade right now. So tonight, ladies, we're going to be doing like a quick recipe tutorials for anybody who knows me you guys know that i like i like quick recipes i like i like to get in get out the kitchen i don't like to be in the kitchen all day long i like to just make some quick stuff get dinner on the table let's keep it moving so we're gonna get started alexa volume down so this recipe that we're gonna be making tonight is so good so delicious it's like Something that I make legit like probably once a week, if not once every two weeks, because it's so simple, super easy. You don't even have to pull out a pot or pan or anything for this, okay? All you need for this is a sheet pan, all right? An assortment of veggies. What I have here, hey T, what I have here is some Brussels sprouts. Let me get a little closer. Some Brussels sprouts, got some carrots chopped up in there, some purple onion, and some red bell pepper. So, ladies, here's the thing. When you are making your meals, you wanna get them to be as colorful as possible. Because the more colorful your meals are, the better health-wise, the better benefits it is, the more, better nourishing it is for your body. So, like we talk about all the time in this group, Everything is connected. Everything that you do affects your money in some way, okay? You not cooking at home affects your money, right? So I'm just gonna throw this on the sheet pan. This is just, the longest part of this, this, this takes literally 15 minutes. Oops, I lost the Brussels sprout. This takes literally 15 minutes. And the longest part of this is probably you cutting up the stuff. That's it, okay? But you don't have to pull out any pots or pans or anything like that. You wanna preheat your oven to 500. So here's what it's looking like on my sheet pan. Look at this, look how, look how delicious this looks, okay? So I've chopped up some chicken chunks right here. Now I actually use two chicken breasts, that's it, comes with three. But ladies, I totally believe in not wasting food so if you could use one package of chicken for a couple of meals, do it. Slice them babies up. I slice the, the breast in half, long ways, lengthwise. Then you get two. And then I cut it up into chunks from there. So it's like four thin chicken breasts, okay? And we still got one left over because I might can make some, I don't know, something else with that. So I just cut up some chicken chunks right here and we're just gonna throw this right on the pan here. Now, one thing about me, ladies, that you guys might not know is that I really hate touching raw meat. It's like so disgusting for me. <laughs> but I'll do it for you ladies. I'll do anything for you ladies. So I'm just gonna mix this up here, okay? Just kind of like mix it in, assortment of stuff. Just mix it on in. Y'all see me doing this, right? So if you have any questions, comments, Concerns, put them in the comment box and we can chat about it, okay? So I'm just gonna mix this up here. And I need to wash my hands because I'm like, ew, salmonella. So hold on a second. <laughs> so I'm washing my hands and then I'm gonna come back to it. Probably gonna have to wash my hands again. But I don't like touching the seasoning after I just touched the chicken, so. That's why I wash my hands. 
So I'm going to season this with some Tony's because Tony's goes on everything. Some of you guys like Lowry. Some of you guys like Slap Your Mama, whatever you want to season it with. Season it with that. And ladies, you don't have to have this. You don't have to have this vegetable medley. <coughs> Whoa. Sorry, the seasoning got to me. Um, you don't have to have this. You can have whatever it is. <coughs> Excuse me. That you want. If you want broccoli florets, if you want asparagus, if you want zucchini, squash. That was garlic salt that I put on there. A little bit of regular salt. Oh, my nose. <laughs> a little bit of regular salt. A little bit of pepper. Pepper, salt, and pepper. Sprinkle that pepper on there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder on top. Okay? I season pretty heavy because I like my shit seasoned. I like well seasoned stuff. And ladies, here's the other thing too. I told you guys everything affects your money. Let me go back to that. So the decision not to cook at home affects your money. The decision to eat bad food affects your money. We talk about vibrations. We talk about having good positive vibrations here. Hey Tiffany, I saw you just chimed in. Um, ladies, what you need to know is that what you put in your body also affects your vibration. So there are such things as low vibing and high vibing foods. High vibing foods are fruits and vegetables and things that nourish your body in the most natural way. Low vibing foods are more things like carbs. Not to say that carbs, all carbs are bad, they're not, but eat them in moderation. Fats, things high in salt, things heavy in trans fat, all of that, all of that. I'm not a nutritionist, but what I do know is that there are foods that you can put in your body that make you feel good afterwards. Those are high vibing foods. And then there's foods that you can put in your body that make you feel heavy, that make you feel bloated, that make you feel weighed down, that make you feel not good about yourself. Those are low vibing foods. So all of this, all of this is connected. What you're eating, what you're spending your money on, every decision that you make, every step-by-step -step decision literally affects your money. So ladies, I really want you to every day, it's baby steps, it's a practice every day, but every day think, what, what decision, this decision that I'm about to make, how is this going to affect my money? So I'm glad to see you all ladies chiming in. I see y'all coming in. We're in the kitchen. Obviously, you guys like food. You guys are a lot like me. I'm a foodie. I'm, I can dub myself a, a fat ass. <laughs> fat ass in the nicest way, meaning I just love food so much. I can look at it, eat it, spend time with it all day. <laughs> So I'm glad you guys are loving this. So I just put the seasoning on. What I'm going to do is take this olive oil. And I'm talking in between this, but as you guys are making this, this is legit going to take, oh, I didn't take the cap off. This is legit going to take y'all like 10 minutes to put this together, seriously. And you can do it while, you know, if you have kids, while the kids are doing their homework or, you know, in between, like literally you just got to throw this together. So I just put a little olive oil on top and now I'm going to like mix it all in. Because you want it to be pretty coated. You don't want it to get stuck to the uh, the pan. Because we're going to roast this. Now, ladies, if you don't like veggies, if you don't like veggies, then roasting veggies, if you have a picky eater at home, your spouse, um, significant other, your kids, whatever, if they don't like veggies, the best way to get somebody to eat veggies is to roast them. My wife is not huge on vegetables. She didn't, eat, she didn't like Brussels sprouts, but she didn't know she didn't like Brussels sprouts before. And I got her eating these Brussels sprouts just by um, roasting them. We got some carrots, you know, so if, if there's, if you got picky eaters at home, definitely try roasting the vegetables. And it's just, I don't know, it's something about it that just makes it taste way better. So I'm gonna mix this all in here. Also too, ladies, when you buy fruits and veggies from the grocery store, don't just leave it in the the package container okay like if you buy strawberries or whatever like actually cut the strawberries up put it in a sealed container and put it in the refrigerator because when you just kind of leave it out it goes bad faster so we want to save our coins that's the point that's the point of all of this right is to make the best decisions for what can affect our coins so if you are buying fruits and vegetables and you see that it's going bad super fast, then we got to do something different. So with fruits especially, chop them up, put them in a sealed container, put them in the refrigerator, and then use them as they go. And as they start to get a little bit, 
you know, maybe wilted or a little bit bad, then you can throw them in a smoothie, okay? Put the strawberries, put bananas, whatever, want, whatever you want, some milk into the blender, make you a smoothie, voila, there you go. There's breakfast, snack, whatever. We just gotta think creatively, ladies, instead of the lazy way of let me stop through the drive-thru or let me go out and get something to eat knowing that it's blowing your budget. So you really got to think about this. So, okay, now I got all, this all like mixed in here. I got my seasonings, I got my olive oil. I'm about to wash my hands again because I just touched this chicken and y'all know. So hold on a second. <laughs> that's repelling money away from you. 
And that means you got to get that up. It's an internal thing. You got to get that self-confidence up. You got to get that self-love up because money with it being a source of energy is only going to attract itself to things that are like it. Like attracts like. So money isn't going to come to somebody who doesn't believe that they're worthy of having it. Money isn't going to come to somebody who is like just throwing it away on frivolous shit. Money isn't going to come to somebody who is just giving it away because they're feeling less than, not deserving of, or whatever it is. So you have to change something about you in order for you to attract more money. And then not only that, appreciate your coins, appreciate your money, appreciate your debt. These are things that we talk about all the time in my Level Up Your Money, Level Up Your Life program with my ladies who are over here like kicking ass, taking names, rocking it like rock stars. Money can be your best friend or it can be your worst enemy. And it's up to you to decide. So you have to be feeling like you are worthy of this life that you deserve. The desires that you feel in your heart, the things that you want out of life are not coincidental, girlfriend. Those are not just thoughts that you just happen to be thinking. That is your inner self. That is your divine destiny. So if you're making decisions that don't align or coincide with what your divine destiny is, then you're not going to get there. So you have to make some serious changes. And now is the time. It's 2019. There's no reason for us to be struggling anymore. We can honestly, honestly make a tribe of millionaires and ladies who are about their shit. Ladies who are about their shit, ready to make a decision to leave their old life behind and step into this new life that they know that they are destined for. So I've got nine minutes left on this. I got my rice on the stove. I'm gonna take a photo because I don't wanna keep you ladies here for another nine minutes while this is in the, in the oven. But I do want you ladies to talk to me if you have questions, if you have concerns, if you have something that you're dealing with, you're trying to figure it out, let's chat. This is an open forum for you to do so. We are all girlfriends here. We are all journeying towards the same goal is to be financially free. So this is free coaching right here. I can wait. <laughs> yes, you can wait. So, I mean, this is free coaching right here. Ask questions. Like, seriously, ask away. What is it that you're struggling with? What is it that you're dealing with? And if you want to talk one-on-one, -on -one, if, you're, if you're a lady, if you are a girlfriend here that is ready to make some serious changes in your life, and move forward into the life that you know that you're destined to live, I want you to call me. I want to offer you a free breakthrough call so we can talk about your money struggles, we can talk about your money goals, and I may invite you to join my Level Up Your Money, Level Up Your Life program. <coughs> Excuse me, the seasoning's still getting to me. But I may invite you to join my program with these other ladies who are over here killing it because it's possible. There's not a lack of money, there's a lack of love. That's why people are starving in third world countries. That's why people are starving here. That's why there's homeless people. It's not because there's a lack of money. It's because there's a lack of love. That's what it is. But you, you ladies who are here, high vibing, ready to make some changes, ready to make changes within yourself so that it can be a trickle effect into the world, you can help me. You can help each one of us. Can <coughs> The seasoning. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if, if all of us collectively got together, got our coins in order, how much power we have? Ladies, take your power back. Take your power back. It starts with your coins. It starts with your money. I promise you. <laughs> that's where self, your self-confidence is. That's where your self-love is. That's where your self-worth is. Not just in your money, but that's a resource to help you build and we can build together. We can do it. Thanks for this. I've just started today with no more eating out. I wrote down how many times I ate. I gotta come around because my arm is short. Hold up. <laughs> I 
I wrote down how many times I ate out just last month and I spent over $645. Wow, Rachel, yes. You know what you could do with $645 elsewhere? <laughs> like, it could, it could be utilized in a much better way than you eating and shitting it out, <laughs> basically. That's exactly what you're doing. You're just eating it up, shitting it out. That's money right there that could be used to take you to the next level. So what are we going to do, ladies? It's up to you. It's up to you guys to make the decision. And there's so many things to learn. In this Level Up Your Money, Level Up Your Life program, this is not just about dollars and cents, okay? This is about changing the course of your entire fucking life. That's what this is about. It's about making better decisions. And by the end of this 90 days, ladies, you're going to have a savings account. You're going to have some money in that savings account. You, your credit score is going to be going up. You are going to have an investment account because that's what we're going to do is start one at least. Start an investment account so you can start to see your money growing. We are a, a force to be reckoned with when we all come together. I, call me. Set up a set up a breakthrough, a free breakthrough call on my coaching call, on my coaching calendar, and let's chat. I want to talk with you because it's possible. And sometimes we just need that accountability partner. Sometimes we just need somebody to take our hand because I've been there. I've been on the edge right where you probably are, standing, <laughs> standing on the edge, ready to take the leap, but not really sure. I've already taken the leap. I've already done it. So now I'm just right here to help you get to the next level and we can do it together. Because, like I said, we are a force to be reckoned with when we all collectively bring our power together and make moves, ladies. <sighs> I just can see it. I just can see it. And it's amazing. And I know that it, I know that it's going to happen. I know that it will. So I want you ladies, if you are in a position right now to where you are tired of living the life that you are currently living right now, you're ready to invest in yourself. You're ready to see what financial bliss looks like. You're ready to take those trips without worrying about how am I going to pay my bills next month. You're ready to start that business because there's a lot of ladies in here that are ready to start a business, but you feel like you may not have the funds that you need. Well, invest in yourself. That's where it starts, especially as us ladies of color. A lot of us don't invest in ourselves, and that's a problem, and that's why we stay stagnant. Okay, it is absolutely okay to invest in yourself because that's the greatest investment that you will ever make to increase your knowledge so that you can take those tools and make a trickle effect in the world, better yourself so you can better the world, you can better your kids, raise a better generation of children to come behind us so that they don't have to deal with the financial struggles and the financial bullshit that you're dealing with. Let's do this. I, I can do it myself, but I want to do it with you all. I want to do it with you all. One person can change the world, but I want us to work collectively. We can do so much more if we're all working collectively, right? So I got three minutes left on this timer. I really want you guys to see this, actually. I really want you guys to see. So I'm actually going to start plating. And this is, this is how I take my pretty pictures so you guys can see this, okay? <clears throat> my best friend taught me about plating and presentation. Presentation is everything. So you can make the most simple meal ever, but if you plate it the right way, it looks like, Mwah! bon appetit. It looks like freaking five-star quality restaurant. So I'm going to start plating right now, okay? I like these black plates just because they're simple. So when I take photos, you know, it's just <clears throat> a simple plate to put things on. So like I said, I already made some rice. Make sure there's like no like, you know, water spots or anything on your plate, especially if you're gonna take photos because you know, you want to, you want people to look at your stuff and be like, damn, that looks good. <laughs> like you want people to be like, golly, that looks delicious. So I'm gonna get some rice. I already made the rice. So I'm gonna plate this. So with rice, you know, rice can get a little bit messy. So you just be careful. Put some in the middle. My wife doesn't eat, eat a lot. She eats like a little bird, so I have to give her like a child's plate. I have to give her like a child-sized plate. And then she gets more after that. 
can't put too much on her plate because then she gets a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> so I gotta do Chow's plate. <clears throat> All right, so we're just gonna plate that. Can y'all see that? There we go. We got a minute. It's probably ready already. Let me check y'all's comments. Way to take the step. Yes, yes, babe. You know, you know yourself. <laughs> All right, so I got a minute left. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. I wish I could freaking smell this. This smells so freaking good. Hold on. What do I do with my spoon? to be a little bit more charred because I like that crispy like charred taste but I'm gonna take it out anyway and I'm gonna put it on something because it's hot <clears throat> all right so this is something I got as a wedding gift from my friend Peishi she's the sweetest there's the timer okay so here it is guys See, ooh, look at the steam coming off of that. Mmm. Delish. Smells so freaking good. Like, it smells so good. I actually need, um, well, I got this little bitty spoon, but it'll do. It'll do. So, I'm just gonna, like, throw these veggies on top. Super simple, y'all. If you want to garnish it <clears throat> or something, you can like slice up a lemon, put like a little bit of lemon on the side. So that's plate number one. I typically put like a little teriyaki sauce, you know, or something like that. Teriyaki sauce, soy sauce, you can make it like an Asian type dish, you know. Like how simple is this though? Like how easy is this? That looks really good. It is, it is about to be, it's about to be real good, Rachel. <laughs> like real good. So how, a little chicken, how easy, how easy was this? Literally, we just made this right now while we were talking. Here we go, plate number two. See the steam coming up off of there? So this is our dinner. And it's healthy. And you won't feel all bloated and shit afterwards because you're feeding your, you're nourishing your body with good shit. So you could do this with pasta. You could do this with brown rice if you choose. You can do this with whatever you want. But this, this right here, super simple, super easy. We got one dish, so it's not like we gotta do a whole bunch of dishes or then the plates at least, you know, the plates and the, and the pan. That's it. Simple, right? And this legit cost me less than 10 bucks to make. And look how much we have left over. I can't touch the pan because it's hot as fuck. But we have a ton left over. I have some more rice. I'm about to put it in these meal prep things. Let me show you what I do when I meal prep, okay? So we're gonna eat this dinner for dinner tonight, but we're gonna have leftovers. So I have these little, exactly enough for lunch tomorrow, T. So I have these little black, um, containers that I got from Walmart for like $8.98 or whatever Walmart, you know how Walmart does their things. And so legit, I'll just put like a little bit of rice on the side, put some veggies on the other side, boom, put a lid on top of it, meal prep, finished. <laughs> meal prep doesn't have to be an all day thing. It doesn't have to be, I'm gonna make six meals on Sunday to last me throughout the week. No, I literally, literally make three meals a week. Three, I'm in the kitchen three times a week. It's quick meals like this and I make enough to where I can put some stuff in here and I don't have to cook every day. Easy. So make it easy for yourself, ladies. You know what you're putting in your body. It's healthy. It'll help you start to be like, yeah, I need to take care of myself. I need to take care of my body. I need to take care of my skin, my skin glowing, my body looking good. I'm feeding myself with good food. I'm saving these coins, right? So many things to learn. So again, 
I really want to invite you to give me a call. It's a free 30 minute call and I don't know how much longer I'm going to be offering these calls for free because they're worth $220 and they're free right now. So I would strongly encourage you ladies to take advantage of the free call now to figure out how you can move forward in your life and not be stagnant anymore. 2019 is the year of level up. Let's do it ladies. So if you're ready to make some moves and make some changes, call me. I want to talk to you. Because like I said, I'm on a mission. Lady millionaires, we coming for ya. We coming for ya. <laughs> all right, ladies, that's all I have for you guys. Please, please feel free to, to um, what am I going to, what was I going to ask you? Oh, please feel, feel free to leave any comments or, or questions below if you have any. You know, and I will answer them even after this video. You can go back and watch the replay. But again, call me. I'll put the link in the in the description box, the description box above, and in the comment box below. Okay. Um, but that's all I have for you, ladies. Um, that's Talk to Me Tuesday. If this was your first Talk to Me Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for my regulars who are always tuning in and supporting GFB and posting stuff in the group and chiming in and just being present and participating i love you ladies we are going to take gfb all the way up this is like this is the squad to be in if you didn't know now you know okay so i love you ladies take care but until then love your budget and love your life see you later